with the way that I train, I cannot say that I bodybuild. I do not claim to be a bodybuilder. The way I train isn't for bodybuilding. It's not quote unquote optimal for bodybuilding. And I'll kind of go over why and just other reasons as to what makes me not really interested in the standard bodybuilding training or at least the standard approach when it comes to lifting weights and building muscle. So starting off, when I first started like working out, I was just doing calisthenics and then I ended up doing a lot more weight training. Um, I know I did in my last video, I talked about how I was wanting to get more skills. So there's kind of like a timeline. So after trying to get skills, I just noticed like, okay, I think I actually just want to build muscle. I think that's just what I want to do. So I ended up taking a lot more like bodybuild bodybuilding approach and it would be fun. It would be nice. I would still train hard, train a failure, stuff like that. But what would happen is that at some point I would kind of get bored and each workout kind of felt like I was just going through the motions, right? It didn't feel engaging. It didn't feel fun. Um, whenever like I was not feeling a workout, I would just kind of be like, you know what? I'm just going to do like, you know, a bunch of dips and pull-ups and push-ups because that was fun. That was more enjoyable. And just the kind of like lifting weights aspect and the isolations and all this other stuff that just kind of like, it just lost its like, I don't know, allure or its luster after some point. And it just felt like as if I was just kind of like moving my body instead of me actually challenging myself or whatever the case may be. Sure, of course I saw gains, but it's just like, it just wasn't interesting. It became, it became boring. Another thing was that I was always changing up my program because of just me constantly consuming information about, oh, these exercises are the best, this program is the best, do these exercises, blah, 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 train this way, train at this time. And I fell into kind of like the content trap of where I, I'm always seeking information and that information is contradicting the information that I just last consumed. And so now I'm immediately making changes. So I would always make changes to my program. I would always end up uh, switching out exercises. I would just end up doing a lot of things which I feel like wasn't going to allow for consistent progress. Um, and then that kind of just led to me, of course, being aggravated because I overcomplicated the the way of like just exercising, you know, for no reason at all, right? But just being working out, packing, packing on muscle can be a very simple thing to do. There's no reason why it has to be so complicated, but I was getting into it and that, and that was complicated in itself. And another thing was just that I feel like for me, I'm a very simple person. So even the fact that, oh, okay, I have to do three sets of this and I have to do these exercises and I have to make sure I hit these muscle groups so they can grow and be developed and I can look uh, what aesthetic, I can look aesthetic. And that just kind of also was complicated to me. So definitely the way I train is a lot more preferable for me. And now I barely even write or plan out my own programs or just the way I'm gonna work out. Before I would write a whole program in like a Google Docs document or I would put it on the notes app on my phone and I would have each day planned out for what I was going to do. I would uh, plan out my rest days, uh, plan out which days are going to be like upper body, which days are going to be more arm focused, which days are going to be more leg focused. The usual bodybuilding way of training or just in general how you would put up a training split. And I, I don't do this. I don't do this anymore. It That is just so like complicated that's just so complicated to just like write down a program think about what exercises are best i mean sure i have my own programs but that's based off of what i've just been kind of intuitively doing right and my own program i'm not telling you to, to do these exact exercises i'm saying do a push exercise do a pull exercise and do a leg exercise and choose whichever one you want to do whether you do that daily or whether you do that um three times out of the week right if you're going to do a full body and this way, it just allows for more freedom and it allows for more intuitive ways of thinking. Oftentimes, all the time, actually every day, I don't know which pulling exercise or which pushing exercise I'm going to do. So I'm just like, okay, I think I'm going to do chin-ups. And sometimes I'll do chin-ups three days in a row. Sometimes I'll do pull-ups uh, two days in a row, right? Um, I do try to make sure I switch things out, but I'm not too worried about the particulars of like, 
let me make sure I make sure I hit this muscle group twice a week so that way I can make consistent gains and then I'm also doing three sets to failure and like that's just is not any of my concern and I've found the way I've been training a lot more consistent uh, I've been able to be a lot more consistent consistent because it's a lot more enjoyable for me to do and what's going to be more enjoyable more fun what's going to allow you to get into the gym more or just work out more, get those reps in, whatever the case may be, that is what's going to get you jacked. Like no matter what, over over a period of time, just like of years and years, you're going to build muscle, like no matter what, right? It's kind of like when you're investing, when you, let's say do an S&P 500 and you invest and you invest long-term 10, 15, 20 years, like sure, there might be dips, but over time, it's going to always keep going up. Even if there's like little dips here and there, it's always going to be going up and you're always going to be making a profit. So that's just like what exercise and building muscle and just working out in general. That's what it's going to do for you. It's an investment that's always going to keep growing no matter what, especially if you're still choosing relatively the right modalities. So definitely like falling into the optimal trap that will keep you in a constant circle because there's always going to be contradicting information. There's always going to be different things. There's going to be people who are jacked who have like never even heard of the word exercise program. You know, um, like just go to Africa. All of these buff guys in Africa, they're just jacked just because like they just do bench press and push ups and bicep curls. Like literally my dad, for example, he just goes in and he'll train like the same muscles every time he works out. And he's jacked. He's jacked, right? It is, so it's just like, some of the biggest people naturally especially that you'll see in the gym they just go in and do whatever they kind of want to do and they have more fun that way and they're they're jacked because they've been doing this upon years upon years upon years right so falling into into, into the science based lifting stuff like that that can be very confusing very complicated and you don't have to make working out you don't have to make something that is supposed to you know, strengthen and build up your body and your health so complicated. There's no point in doing that. There's many ways of simplifying it. Being able to listen to kind of like those inner desires, like I mentioned earlier with kind of having an intuitive way of thinking when it comes to exercise and working out and just doing whatever your body kind of feels what is best, that will take you down a much better path. A lot of the times it will, because again, you're still being consistent. You're still exercising, working out. You're just not doing the usual way of training. You're not, you might not be following the usual split and your body's just going to simplify things on its own. And you just kind of have to be able to like, listen to it, right? Maybe not your body, but more of like your mind just kind of telling you almost as if it's like some base, base instinct. And most of all, just have fun with your training, right? I usually, Unless you enjoy bodybuilding, like the practice of bodybuilding and doing all these movements and stuff like that, then go ahead, right? If that's enjoyable and fun for you, then go ahead and do that. But what's interesting, a lot of people, a good amount of people will find that they might be following a bodybuilding program or a bodybuilding style of training, and they realize that they just don't like it. It's not enjoyable, and they end up doing something else. They might do calisthenics, gymnastics, they might do powerlifting, they might do... Um, Olympic uh, weightlifting, they might end up doing CrossFit, and all of those things end up getting you jacked, right? Because they're just going to have all of these different types of exercises against resistance that will just inevitably be inevitably build muscle over time. But what people are going to tell you is that oh, you if, if you want to build muscle, you have to follow a bodybuilding approach. And sure, that is probably the most optimal way of doing things. But for you personally, as an individual what is going to be more enjoyable. And that's, again, that's just like, you know, why I don't follow a, a typical bodybuilding approach because those typical bodybuilding approaches don't give me enough value and enjoyability in my life for me to keep training, right? I literally make this YouTube based off of my, the way I exercise daily calisthenics, right? Now, if it was daily bodybuilding and I didn't like bodybuilding, I don't think this channel will go on for as long as it has so far. And we can be disciplined in many different aspects of our life um, and just be consistent and do the same thing over and over again for many aspects of our life. But when we train, when we work out, when we're expressing ourselves physically, have fun with it. You know, do whatever.
whatever you feel like is enjoyable in that moment, right? We're, we can be so strict and, and, you know, in the lines about everything else in our lives. But when it comes to our physicality, why not go ahead and have that fun? Why not go ahead and do something that's a bit more spontaneous so you can have just a bit more of that creative freedom, at least when it comes to exercising your life. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. See you guys in the next video. Peace out.